wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'll be showing you how to build a medieval style cog ship. This kind of ship was used all throughout the Middle Ages for both trade and naval combat. So this is the perfect ship to put in your medieval harbour to spruce up your town and it can be customised to fit your style. For this build you'll need the materials on your screen now. Keep in mind that the acacia wood and blue concrete and blue wool can be changed out depending on what colours you would like for your build. Here are some dimensions to keep in mind when figuring out where to place your ship. This ship is 24 blocks long and that's from tip to tip. And then it is 13 blocks wide. You can see the ship itself is a bit smaller than this, but this 13 blocks is allowing some room for the masts to stick out over the edge of the ship. It is also 22 blocks tall, and that's from the bottom of the ship to the very top. Now when placing this in water, you want to have it submerged three blocks into the water. That way your water is sitting at this level here. And keep in mind that the very base of the ship is a total of nine blocks long and that's this spruce section here and that sits six blocks in from the back of the ship. We'll be starting by creating our base of the ship with some spruce planks and these are going nine along the center of the ship. Make sure it's lined up with the center of where you want your boat. At the back place a spruce stair and then come up on a diagonal with another spruce stair, two spruce planks on top, stair and two more spruce planks. Now we'll come to the front and come two forward with some spruce slabs and place a stair on top of these. Then we'll place three groups of two spruce planks going up like this with two more stairs. Coming underneath, place a slab here and then two stairs, so it should look like this. And the aim is we're creating a nice swoop up to a point at the front of the ship. So now we're going to create a little T with some spruce planks like this. Spruce stair underneath and a spruce slab in the center of this T shape. Come up in an upside down L with one more spruce stair, a slab and a block, and then two slabs to finish the point. You can see the underside has a nice smooth curve, and then on the top it does look a little funny at the moment, but that is because we're going to be adding in some other sections sitting on top of the boat. Now that we have the center part in, we can begin filling in either side of the ship. Now this is symmetrical, so I'll show you how to do one side and then you can fill in the other. First we'll place in some spruce planks at the back of the ship, then two slabs so it's down on the diagonal and then build across with some slabs until you reach two before the end of this original nine planks. When you get to here, you want to come two forward with some spruce plank blocks and place two slabs on top of these slabs. Next we're going to come forward with a slab and a block, then a stair and a block, and then one more stair. Then at the back of the ship, build up two high with some blocks and then one up on the diagonal. And you can create this same pattern on the other side. This next layer coming forward, begin by placing some spruce planks to fill in this gap here. So you should be placing four. Then coming towards the back with a slab and then creating a little L shape like this on top of the slab. You also need to place a slab here. Then on top of this, use a placeholder block to place a strip spruce log facing forwards so you can see this face here. And then a spruce planks going towards the back. Now working towards the front, place two slabs here and here. And then you'll need to place 
two again here and here so you can see these slabs overlap by one then build a two by two square of planks coming forward one extra like this place in a spruce stair so when you're looking from the front of the ship you see the angle and then finally another one facing forwards in the same way once again you can do this on the other side For this final layer of spruce, begin by coming two forward with some planks and then to either side with some stairs. Then at the front you can add an additional slab and on top of this we're going to alternate between planks and strip spruce logs. Now to fill in this gap here, place a stair so when you're looking from the back you see the angle and then place a stair facing forward on the front side. Finally, place a spruce planks here and then a stripped spruce log. Your stripped spruce log should be on a direct diagonal upwards from this one here. Now you can create this on the other side. Now I'll be creating a contrast colour band with some different planks and for this I'll be using acacia but you can use any planks you'd like. I'll be showing you some ideas for different contrast blocks at the end of the video so stay tuned to see how you can customise your ship. I'm just placing these on the spruce outline like this making sure I go up again at the end where the boat is raised and now that those are in Go in with some spruce, uh, some acacia stairs and slabs to define the shape. So I've got two here. Then I'll come forward with some stairs on either side at the back. Make sure these line up with the very last strip spruce log. And then at the front of the ship, I'll come forward with some upside down stairs. And then towards the back, up on a diagonal with some slabs. Here's how it should look. Now I'll work on the floor of the ship. Begin by placing some oak slabs on the upper level of this spruce here below the acacia blocks. And I'm just coming back leaving the center section out here. And I'm going to place in three oak trap doors. Make sure they all flip in the same direction and this will allow a walkway to get into the bottom of the ship. Then you can just continue filling in with some oak slabs. You want to fill in so it lines up with this part here where it starts going up towards the back of the ship. Then come an additional two in either side. And for the rest you want to fill in on the layer down like this. This will provide enough headroom in this part of our ship. Next we'll create a little wall using some spruce planks. And then some strip spruce logs which I'll face forwards. Here's what we've got so far. The next stage is to add the raised castle lake sections to the front and back of the ship that are characteristic of cog style medieval ships. To do this I'm using a contrast block of blue concrete and alternating this with some oak planks so that it sticks out one either side of the ship. So our blue concrete is centered over the doorway and then there's four blocks to either side. Then we're going to create a trapezoid type shape. Moving back two like this. Then again on the diagonal coming back three. And then building across the back. And then we'll complete the other side in the same way. And it should all connect up. Then you can grab some oak slabs and place these on top of all of these blocks. And while we're here we can add in the floor. So for this at the back, build at the height of the lower level of the blue blocks. 
coming back three. Then fill in the rest a slab down. Place two barrels in either side and then a slab on top of each of these acacia planks. Now for some details, so grab some oak trapdoors and you want to cover all of the blue faces including the underneath side. This way you have just a little hint of blue popping through and it is a great detail on the ship. Then on the in-between ones you can add an acacia trapdoor. Make sure you're flipping them all the same way so that you have this grey bar at the bottom of your trapdoor. And leave the ones along the front side clear. Next go in with some oak fences and you want to place one here, here and at the back of the boat as well as on the other side. And here's how that should look. There is a similar castle-like section at the front of the ship, so place blue concrete either side of this walkway here, and then build two out with oak planks. Come forward with blue concrete and oak planks, and then in on the diagonal, and then connect to the spruce with some more blue concrete. And do this on the other side as well. Now you can place oak slabs on top of all of this, and I'm also going over the doorway here. Then you can add in your floor. And like on the larger back section, we'll be using oak trapdoors to cover up the blue. Then place some acacia trapdoors in between. In this part of the ship, the oak fences will be going behind the blue and there's two of them, one here and one here. And then on both entryways, you'll want to add in a spruce trapdoor and then a banner, which is just a white banner with two sets of blue stripes, so the blue stripes are nice and bold. Oh, and don't forget to add some oak trapdoors to these two blue concrete either side of your walkway. We have some additional details to add to the side of the ship, starting with some buttons. I've got them either side of this strip spruce log here, followed by two, one, and one. And I'll do this on the other side. And then we'll create some anchors over here at the front of the ship. So I'll hang a chain down and then leaving a one block gap place in an iron trapdoor and then place an anvil on top of this. And I've got one on either side. We have a few more details on this part of the ship before we start adding in the mast and a very important one is the rudder. So come to the back and find this center piece of spruce here. Now you'll need to choose which side of this spruce you want your rudder to be. I'm going to have mine on the back side. And you want to build up three high with some trapdoors. So when you flip them, they're all to one side of the spruce. Then I'll come across one and come up too high, making sure that these trapdoors are aligned. And then I'll come round to the back side and build up with some more trapdoors, but these should be slightly offset from the last ones. We've got two here and now an additional three more. You can check this is done correctly as these trapdoors should sit to one side of your oak trapdoor here and should look like the rudder is at a very slight angle. A few more details, you can choose which side you want your ladder to access this top section. I'm going to have mine here and place a trapdoor above that as well as a grindstone 
for the wheel. You'll also need to ladder, add a ladder at the back, or rather the front of the ship here, so that way you can easily hop up to this part. For the mast pole, begin with some strip spruce logs and count two blocks away from this back door here and build up five high. One, two, three, four, five. Then place some barrels coming towards the front of the ship and a trap door here. Then surround the post too high with some trap doors. This adds just a bit of dimension and texture. On top of this, build up six high with spruce fences. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two more with some strip spruce logs. To create the crow's nest at the top, place a stripped spruce planks and then a fence. And then surround that fence with some more planks. We'll add a little flagpole, building up three more with some fences. And then you want to place trapdoors, spruce trapdoors, so they're flush with these blocks all the way around. And then on top, so it is a slab or rather a trapdoor thicker. Then place some buttons on the three sides, leaving off the side that lines up with the front of the ship. Now we can add the horizontal section to our mast and to do this we'll be using some spruce trapdoors. Now come to the side of the crow's nest here and so it lines up with the bottom of the spruce planks, come out three blocks with some spruce trapdoors. Then diagonally towards the back you want to go another three across, one, two, three. And you can check that you've got all your trapdoors facing the same direction. Now going towards the other side, you might need to hold a, put a placeholder block in to place these. Place some spruce trapdoors going four across, one, two, three, four, and this is sitting in front of the crow's nest. And then finally three, one, two, three. Now having the sail at an angle like this does make it a little bit more complicated to build. But adding movement to a build in this way can really bring it to life. Now I'll be using white and blue wool for my sail, but you'll want to choose white and a contrasting colour wool that matches whatever you've got in here behind your trapdoors. Now since this flag is striped, we'll be working from one side to the other in stripe sections, starting with this white one. So I'm coming down on a diagonal like this, down two blocks, down another two blocks. Now we're coming inwards with two and then one. For the next section, coming forward with a blue wool block. Two down. Four down. Now we'll come in with one and one. For our next white stripe, we'll start by lining up like this. Then coming up two, out two, and then in on a diagonal and down two. Make sure you're taking a step back every time you add an additional stripe to make sure it is all looking fluid. Now for another blue stripe, starting at the bottom, we'll come one across, coming out two, up three, and we're working in again up two, and then in one. For our next white stripe, we'll follow along similarly at the top. And then we're coming in on a diagonal like this at the bottom. Back to blue. This time coming out to in the center of the sail before coming back up. For the next white stripe, come forward one before building up diagonally two. Then we have a four high section, a two high section, 
and then one back on the diagonal. We're coming along again like this, but coming out two forward with our blue here before coming back up. For this next white section, come forward two with the wool, so it's two high, then up one on the diagonal, then three high, and then connecting back up to this horizontal piece. We only have two sections left to go. One blue wool, then two high up, three high again, and then connecting diagonally. And for our final white stripe, one white wool, followed by two white wool, two white wool, coming back, two high, and then connecting up again. Now, if you're building this mast and uh, this sail here, and your stripes are not quite exactly the same curve as mine, that's all right. Just make sure you're taking a step back and checking that you're happy with it. Have a look from different angles and see if you like how it's coming along. The wind would blow the sail in all sorts of ways, so you could even try experimenting with different angles or having a straight sail if it's set sailing straight ahead. Now this ship really is coming along, but we've got a few more details that'll make a big difference. Starting with some extra flags. Now we have one at the top here, which I'm using white wool to create. And I'm just creating an organic curve. Now we have one at the back of the ship. So for this, I'm placing an extra oak slab and building up four high with spruce fences. One, two, three, four. And then I'm creating a two wide, three high striped uh, flag with some blue and white wool. Next, use some dark oak fences to create some rigging. For this, we're connecting from this point here up to our sail. And you want to go up in groups of three fences each time until you reach your sail. Like this on this side. And I'll need a few more fences on this side where the sail is further away. You'll notice here I'm transitioning to two fences and then one fence underneath to deal with the fact that the sail is curving outwards. There is also some rigging going from here up to the sail, this time building up in groups of two, like this. And then on the far side, I'll start going up in groups of two. And this time it's going to connect to the back of the sail here. Now you can add a chain running from this point on the mast that is just below the blue stripe all the way to the front of the ship. And you'll see it meets up with this block here. And then I'm adding two levers, which I'm flicking so they're in the downwards position like this. And then we'll add in some more rigging, just going up on a diagonal one block each time until it reaches the top of the mast. So here I have a little fleet of our medieval ships. There is the acacia wood and blue ship in the center. I've also done a variation with some lime wool and some crimson wood. And then there's one with some yellow and some warped wood. And you can see they all have a very different feel. Now these three ships are sailing in the same direction, so all of the sails are facing the same way. But why don't try customizing something like this? For this ship here, I've changed out the blocks. So we have a red sail with some warped wood. And this is one of my favorite color combinations. And for this, you can see I've angled the sail so it is sailing straight ahead out of the harbor here in my medieval town on Alphacraft. So make sure you check out that series if you'd like some more medieval build inspiration. 
Be sure to let me know what your favourite colour combination is and join my Discord to share a picture of your customised ship. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please consider subscribing if you did and check out my Patreon to support me more and build alongside me. See you in another video!